Hop on in, dogs. Didge has to get in first. It's their rule. And our 300 foot journey is complete. Once again, thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. There is no safe like Simply Safe. We made it to the yard, girls. We made it. Morning. Check the tires in this and take it to Starbucks. Huh? They look pretty round. They do look pretty good. Today will be for sure our first day of harvest 2023. We're going to start on soybeans with that header and the 9870 combine. We do have the 780 and the honeybee header all ready to go, but we're going five miles south. There's only 80, 90 acres down there that we're going to take off right now. If things are going good, we do have a couple hundred, uh, 250 more acres on top of that that we could bring this machine down and get both of them going. But that will wait and see, one thing at a time. Right, that is unhooked which we actually didn't need to do but the beans aren't quite dry enough for the day anyway because we had a good amount of dew overnight but now I may as well fire up this machine we also thought of the globe I don't know that this has a globe and a monitor in it as far as GPS it does not have a globe on so so we have to add that it's one thing we missed yesterday It's a little bit odd to be going to one of our farthest away fields for the first one of the year, but those are the beans that are ready. Most of the rest of them look like these ones where you look down in the rows and you see a lot of yellow and green leaves. Therefore, those ones are not ready yet. Awesome weather though. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today again. It's looking like that's probably our last 80 degree day for six, seven months, I'm betting. Everybody's starting yesterday and today. Some of these beans are a little tough. It's just, uh, I think, morning dew, humidity. Yeah, these are all a little tough at the bottom. But otherwise, this field should be ready to go. If anything, it's just gonna take another hour here. Which we only have two of us, so we may as well run home and get a couple trucks anyway. Once again, thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. There is no safe like Simply Safe. We've got a lot of things around here. We've got a lot of buildings. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got a lot going on around this place right here. And so we have a real interest in keeping things safe, keeping an eye on things. We've got a lot of people in and out. We want to know what's going on even when we're not inside every building all the time. That's why I've equipped everything around here with the Simply Safe system. It keeps us safe from break-ins, fires, floods, maybe powder outages that uh, stop the heat and make it cold inside the shed here. They've got 24 seven live guard protection, which means that agents are always watching. They're ready to spring into action and send the local authorities, the first responders, the fire department, whoever it might be directly to our address, even if we're gone or unable to respond. 
This little guy right here is the new Smart Alarm indoor wireless camera. It's got 24-7 live guard protection on it right with the camera so that monitoring agents can actually see and speak with intruders in real time to help deter them and it's got a built-in siren on it. You think an intruder is going to stick around and try to steal our Mountain Dew when that sucker starts going off? No chance. You can order the system online, you can customize it to yourself, it comes right to your door. It's so easy, anybody can do it, including me. I did it for crying out loud. And now I can jump on my Simply Safe app at any time and I can see exactly what the temperatures are in my shop. I can go to the cameras, I can open each camera, and look at that. There's a moron creating a YouTube video in my shop right now. Obviously, they include audio as well. There are no long-term contracts, no hidden fees. You can install it all yourself, or you can have a professional do it for you. Right now, you can save 20% off your own system when you sign up for Fast Protect and you get your first month for free. All you have to do is go to simplysafe.com slash millennialfarmer to customize your own. There is no safe like Simply Safe. Yeah, there's a hard wire box in there though. He wanted to turn the wind system down, which the remote batteries probably are dead, but we've got this hard wire box here that we can use. First day quirk, more than likely they'll still be those same quirks when we get done. There's a bunch of slut ones, so I think I need to tow it down and open it up a little bit. Split beans? Yeah. Like it's beans. cracking them? Yeah, like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of... And not that dry that they shouldn't be cracking. No, those are coming over, huh? They're going through. Yeah. So he made a couple adjustments to the rotor to slow it down, be a little easier on the soybeans. We'll see how that works. Still a few beans out here and broken ones like this. So I think we need to take our adjustments even further. It'll be a little bit easier on them. Oh yeah, yeah, we're cracking a lot of them. Yeah, we need to make some adjustments. Five to four, you still got a pretty decent amount of broken beans in the ground behind you. Head back here and see what the new adjustments did. Man, that isn't right. You got a lot of beans behind you now. He said he sped the fan up and closed the sieves down because he was getting some pods in the tank too. So I think that was a wrong move. We might have to take some pods, I don't know. Or just wait for them to dry out a little better. What's it look like in there? A lot of pods. Brown pods or green ones? Brown ones. It might just have to wait an hour and get better? I don't know. If they're yeah. brown, they're ready to go. They're just not threshing out. Maybe it will get better. We got our sample here. We'll take home and test that. Here's our first test of the year. What do we got? 12.9, just right. We'll make sure the old school tester says the same. The old school tester says 13. That's pretty consistent. this truck up and check a few tires just to be sure before I take this down to the field. Dad's doing a little running so I came down here by myself. All by myself, such a big boy. I'm gonna run the combine and fill that semi truck. Honestly, I'm probably gonna spend the first hour messing with settings and jumping in and out to see what kind of job it's doing.
Well, I made some changes. We still got brown pods in the tank. Let's see what it looks like behind us. Huh. I got the rotor slowed way down and way open. I'm still seeing some cracked ones and there's some on the ground. The tough part is finding the balance between getting those pods out of the tank and making sure we don't have beans on the ground. And it isn't horrible, but I don't like being able to find them. Any of them, not a one. Made a couple other small changes. We'll see if it does anything. There's the first hopper going into one of the brand new trailers. So far it seems pretty similar to putting beans in one of the old trailers. We're still working on setting the machine. He's checking the, uh, the job the header's doing there, which the header's doing a pretty dang good job. We're not leaving many behind. We're starting to think that um, maybe what we got going on, because we're, we've talked to some other guys, we actually talked to the dealership, and they said a lot of guys are complaining of the same thing, because if we pay no attention to that. If we slow things down and open it up enough, we end up with pods in the tank. So we're either putting beans on the ground or pods in the tank. And we are struggling to find that balance. And from what I'm hearing, we are not the only ones. I forgot to follow up with where I was going with that. I think what we're running into is the tops of the plants have beans that are down seven, eight, nine percent moisture and are shelling out at by being touched by anything, they're busting open. And then the bottoms of the plant, I think we've got 14, 15, 16 percent beans. I think they're just inconsistent right now. Yep. Afternoon, Alan. Welcome to Harvest 23. Thanks. Uh, in my forward, we got some more to come. I'll get a couple more rounds on there yet. It sounds like things look pretty good on the ground behind us now, but we are putting a few more pods in the tank, definitely more than we want to. I don't know, I sped the fan back up here a little bit. I think we're just dealing with some inconsistency right now. Seems to happen every year in the, the first few days. This will top off the second truck of this field. We are not running the grain cart here because we're five, six miles from home, which is actually, this is our farthest south field. This is as far away as we get to the south. And it just kind of seemed like we don't really have enough guys anyway. There's just no point in another guy sitting here because you don't run the grain cart a whole lot in soybeans. It's a pretty slow start for us because we really don't think we have any more acres ready to go. So there's no, there's no real big push right now. Someone, probably me, should have washed this windshield. It's hard to find good help. Well, that's not the yield the whole field has been doing. But we do have good spots and bad spots. Overall, we, we are yielding about average, uh, just under 50 bushels to the acre. We'll know a little bit better after we get all the elevator slips in and we got all the trucks in exactly what we yielded here. But overall, I'm actually pleasantly surprised because the backside of this field where I'm at right now, honestly, is usually awfully dry. So I was expecting there to be shorter beans back here. I kind of expected them to be burned up but that's not what I'm seeing at all. We actually have pretty good beans back here. So, so far, pleasantly surprised. It's getting a little bit dusty out there as we get closer to evening. And I've eaten everything in the lunch box and I'm down to the last ounce of water, so I'm rationing it. Well, I had a phone call at the end there, but I'm done. That's it. We were hoping for five trucks off this field. We got about five and a third, five and a half. So I'm done for the night here. I shut this thing down. I'm just gonna take a look and see what I damaged throughout the day. There's a good amount of little rocks in this field. So I got a couple guards here. I got this one and this one. I think that's it. I haven't seen any broken sections. I've seen some damaged ones, but nothing broken. So we got a couple guards to fix in the morning. We'll probably put a few sections on the sickle just to make sure things are sharp. And then honestly, I don't know for sure where we're gonna go from here. I know we got 20 acres up the road that'll go. That isn't gonna take a lot of time, but it is kind of an annoying field. So it wouldn't be a bad one just to get out of the way while things are going slow. 
but that other 200 we'll have to see what it looks like tomorrow um, it didn't look real promising this morning there was a lot of green in it yet Well, day one was pretty non-stressful, pretty uneventful. We knocked out close to 100 acres. Dad's even got the shed all closed up. Obviously, the grain dryer isn't going yet. We're not moving anything over here, so we do have a guy coming out to pump the pits here in a couple of days. We've got another guy coming to look over the dryer, give the dryer some servicing, and then we need to get uh, the load and the unload plumbed in and wired up for this new bin. That still is not done yet, so... Hopefully that happens here in the next uh, week because we'd like to use it. Oh, and I got a guy coming to finish this office in the shop finally. That's been the plan for 10 years. We've just never fully committed to it and uh, that's gonna happen. So now I'll have, a, I'll have a winter office out here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Don't forget to head to our merch store and pick up some uh, Millennial Farmer merchandise, stuff like this. Should be a link down in the description. That's what YouTubers say, right? Okay, bye. Toodles!